Morning. New Mexico state officials yesterday announced 17 additional positive tests for COVID-19, bringing the total to 100 confirmed cases. County manager Lance Pyle has confirmed that he was contacted by the governor's office and was told Curry County has a positive COVID-19 test and that, quote, it is a female in her 50s and appears to be travel related. In a press release, Clovis Mayer was quoted, It was inevitable that there would be cases in the area. We must remain calm and think of our neighbors. Please do not hoard supplies during this time, and we will contain this by respecting the rules and guidelines that have been put in place by the state of New Mexico and the President of the United States. Please continue to practice good sanitation and hygiene methods and limit your exposures to others. The City of Amarillo Department of Health received confirmation Tuesday, March 24th of the first death in the Amarillo area attributed to COVID-19. Curry County commissioners will hold a telephonic meeting this Friday, where among the action items, officials will be discussing the issue of declaring Curry County an emergency area as a result of COVID-19. According to Curry County officials, as of Friday, March 20th, Curry County has already either encountered or anticipates expending or experiencing a loss of income due to the COVID-19 virus for a total of $79,536. The Curry County Event Center anticipated losses of $64,900 due to events canceled. County departments will anticipate a loss of $14,636. The New Mexico State Investment Council voted unanimously yesterday to immediately pump up to $100 million from one of the state's largest permanent funds into a newly formed New Mexico Recovery Fund, which will provide discounted short-term loans to businesses struggling to stay afloat during the coronavirus crisis. The new loan program funded by the $5 billion severance tax permanent fund is one of the several economic relief initiatives being crafted by state leaders in an attempt to help businesses stay afloat during the COVID-19 outbreak. The Eastern New Mexico News has reported that a local public defender who self-quarantined after experiencing flu-like symptoms has tested negative for COVID-19. The U.S. Attorney's Office has released an official statement warning the public about possible scams and fraudulent companies among the novel coronavirus pandemic. U.S. Attorney John C. Anderson of the District of New Mexico has urged the public to report suspected fraud schemes related to COVID-19 by contacting the National Center for Disaster Fraud hotline. The state Supreme Court has ordered a temporary halt on evictions for the inability to pay rent during the COVID-19 public health emergency. Under the court's order, judges will stay the execution of rights of restitution that property owners can obtain and give to law enforcement to force the removal of a tenant. Tenants will need to provide the court with evidence of their current inability to pay their rent. 